September 30th, 1968, the first giant 747 is presented to the world. This is a milestone in Boeing history, a time to look forward and a time to look back. To the beginnings, May 1966, a tranquil woodland near Everett, Washington, swept clean to make room for a new dimension. A factory, the world's largest, takes form. Inside, the 747 program becomes a reality, from paper to metal. Machining and manufacturing Assembly and major body joints. The airplane grows. beginning of a new phase. An exhaustive program by test engineers. Their goal, to ready the huge airplane for her maiden flight. Every system and subsystem installation is checked. Every coupling, component, and calibration is scrutinized. Followed by an engineering safety inspection. On hand are all echelons of management, engineering, manufacturing, and safety for a total airframe and power plant examination. All 53 movable surfaces are checked and timed. As is the 16-wheeled main gear. Outdoors again. The plane is rotated on air cushion platforms while the compass system is checked. In spite of snow and freezing temperatures, engines are motored. Then run up and trimmed, equalized thrust from all four engines at identical throttle settings. Now the flight crew takes over, feeling out the steering in a series of tight turns. Taxi tests are run and rerun, establishing braking and thrust reverser characteristics at speeds from 80 to 140 knots. 
During the taxi test, which included uh, some fairly rigorous uh, high speed tests up to 165 or so, I had the nose in the air about 9 degrees, and a few more knots, so we'd have been airborne prematurely. February 8, 1969. The dress is informal, but the occasion is not. Top Everett manufacturing personnel gather in a control room to release the 747 to flight test. Jack Waddell, chief test pilot, formally accepts the airplane. After the ceremony, the flight crew makes one last check. Computers to measure and record first flight data. Ballast. Instrumentation. It is the day before first flight and a new dimension in air travel. February 9th, approaching takeoff time. The flight crew moves out to the waiting airplane. Pilot Jack Waddell. Co-pilot Brian Weigel. Flight engineer Jess Wallet. Takeoff requires only 4,300 feet of roll. Gross takeoff weight is 467,500 pounds, each engine producing just under 39,000 pounds of thrust. Hey, Paul, let me know when to release brakes. Hey, to release brakes on any uh, time, like the jump. Well, okay, you're just uh, spread them around for me, Brian. Watch those temps. I'm going to watch these things. We've got a lot of ways, long ways to go. Now, you take it. I'll watch it. 90 knots. Yeah, good. 90 knots. I'm off to the steering. I'm going to stand. Let's go. All right. I'll test everything. Looks good. They are. Okay. Looks very normal on the right side, Jack, and uh, the gear doors look closed, and I'll go ahead and check the left. Beautiful.
one thing I've noticed throughout the whole flight, I've never seen any black smoke come out at all. You can't tell from outside if the engines are running or not. Uh, they're clean, all right. They are on the ground as well. In the final approach, basic airspeed is 140 knots. Landing weight, 440,000 pounds. during the landing and cruise were almost unbelievable in that the airplane sits there like a stable platform. The pilot has to keep telling himself, oh, and I'll leave it alone. It doesn't need any help here. <laughs> we just got it pointed and the airspeed adjusted, and we let it just drive right on in and land, almost land itself, literally. Radio car, you want to take a look at our cars before we go in, please? Uh, Roger, will do. Okay, we counted them. You got 16 under there. The height associated with this large airplane during takeoff and landing, and boy, this seems the way an airplane, this way it should look out of the cockpit. Okay, Jack, uh, natural question is, what are your impressions? <laughs> well, Al, uh, I guess this sounds complacent or something, but that ab thing is just ridiculously easy to fly. It's just a pilot's dream. Really a nice airplane to fly. <laughs>